Hey everyone, welcome to the Horror PSA presented by Scary Nerd, and as always, we are your hosts. I'm Paul. I'm Saul. And I'm Angie. The following is a public service announcement. A group of tourists arrive in Burkittsville, Maryland after seeing the Blair Witch Project to explore the mythology and phenomenon, only to come face to face with their own neuroses and possibly the witch herself. Unfortunately, we watch Book of Shadows, Blair Witch 2 from the year 2000. Unfortunately? What do you mean, unfortunately? This movie is amazing. This was a tub of crap. <laughs> a whole tub. Yeah, good, okay. I'm glad you <laughs> side with me, Paul, because I absolutely did not want to rewatch this movie. And now that I rewatched it, I'm like, okay, I went, what, maybe 20 something years, 20 years without rewatching it. And I could have gone another 20 without rewatching this movie again. <laughs> I love this movie so much. Okay. But you have, you have nostalgia, like through oh, the fucking so roof much with this nostalgia. movie. And I, I do. Don't. This was my jam. This was my first watch. <laughs> so I am totally, yeah, this is a tub of crap. <laughs> Yeah. This epitomizes See, the shitty sequel month that we're doing completely. I, like, I still feel the same way I did back then. It is one of the few movies that I hate as much as I did back then. Hmm. I still love this movie. Granted, I will give everybody it's it's ridiculous. <laughs> it makes no sense. But it's fun. It's got so many random things in it. How can you not love it? It's so much fun. Okay. I will say that keeping in line with what seems to be a common theme for all out of these shitty sequels is that the original guys didn't want to make a sequel right away. But the distributor who had the rights was like, no, we need to cash in on this, you know, crazy nostalgia or whatever that people are having for the first one. So we need to make a sequel like right now. So they, again pumped this turd out really fucking quick <laughs> it's not a turd it's amazing oh it's a turd <laughs> hey, hey two out of three of us agree this movie was a turd hey I two still, of you could I be wrong i don't care uh, you guys I, can have your wrong opinion Angie. this is a democracy how does, two how does, of uh, us hate it. i am the queen how does producer kim feel about the movie oh yes we need producer kim's input I don't think she liked it. I'll have to ask her, but I don't think she liked it either. <laughs> this movie opens with Kurt Loder and MTV News. How can you not love it? Okay. <laughs> okay. This 90s and 2000s-ness. This movie. Okay. This movie fucking oozes the 90s. Like it right does. off the bat. Yes. All right, it so does. It does. And even but seeing, it looks like a 2000s film. Uh, like it, it really has all the feel of the 90s because obviously they shot it in 1999 or sometime within that. Yeah, Time I think frame. They, it looks like they were filming this while the other movie while was still the other in movie was, Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like they'd cast in on it. But yeah, no, this movie looks better than the original, at very least. <laughs> you have to well, admit to that. Well, you give it that. that because they actually put some effort into <laughs> it rather was, than having handheld cameras. But that was There's, part of... Yeah. That's part of the gimmick of the first one, though, is this the, look the, found the, footage. the found footage yeah. documentary yeah. bullshit. Or I whatever. love how this one opens with the little disclaimer about how it it's kind of like the first one, but not really. It's a reenactment <laughs> based a, on things. This is a reenactment of things that actually happened. But yes. And I, I love how people were kind of there were people in the 90s and 2000s who were like, maybe it did happen. And like, no, guys, it's clearly a movie. No. <laughs> it's clearly. Yeah, no. A movie. Yeah. Those, <laughs> those people had kids. And, yes, you know, yes, here they did. Today, here we are. So. Uh, but no, I love the opening to this movie where you get the the MTV Kurt Loader thing, and then it goes to that guy who's just crazy. I the they they come and they say nay. <laughs> yes, no, 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 no. it's a little <laughs> spiel. No, yeah, he like okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, first, I want to say like I feel like. I feel like Kurt Loder was old when I was a kid. So oh, like, yeah. Is he like 200 yeah. years old I know. Old he now? might like, be. Is he a vampire? I thought he recently I know, like, died. I don't know. Oh, I, I don't know. This is why we up. need producer Ken. I know. Seriously. <laughs> just somebody text her. Okay. Um, I do have to point out that much like one of the other films, the, the same thing happened. I don't remember which one. But the guy that directed it made his own version and then... Studio didn't like it, demanded a bunch of reshoots, and then he wasn't even a part of. 
So then at the end of it, he was like, yep, this isn't the movie I made. So like nobody wants their fucking name on this piece of shit. <laughs> So, like, they changed all of the movies. Yeah, like, it might have. Pretty much. Yeah. Like, I mean, that, so that's, yeah, again, common theme of cash like, grab. Let's is cash grab it yeah. and fucking, no, let's make it more marketable by what adding bullshit. What can we bullshit. slap this name on to? Who's got a movie oh, around that we yeah. could add on to? That seems to be the theme throughout this month. But and, what, okay, what's his name? Jeff, Jeff. I think. Yes. So, and his real name is Jeffrey Donovan, the actor's name. And they just, and keeping in line with the other one, yeah. they use their own first names. Did you way. guys recognize him from anything specifically? He was in that because burn I, notice show yeah. on exactly. USA yeah, forever. Yeah. 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 He's been in a lot of things. He's been good and in a lot of things. That's what I remember things, him from. But he was not good in this movie. See, I loved this movie <sighs> in the 2000s. So everything after us is like, that's the Book of Shadows guy. <laughs> I saw him as the burn notice guy because that's the only thing I can remember. Every time they run commercials for it was him and what's his name? Um, I'm blanking on his name right now. How dare you, sir. Evil Dead Dude. How dare you, sir. Oh. <laughs> Bruce Campbell. I, Bruce Campbell. There we go. Bruce Campbell. Yeah, every time they would run them, you would see those two. So that's the only thing I can associate the Jeffrey character with is the guy from Burn Notice. And, and he's super young in this movie. Yeah, no, when I say I have nostalgia for this film, like I had the VHS and I would watch it all the time. I would let the credits roll so I could hear it's awesome, like early 2000s rock. They, they still made VHS in 2000s? Yes, they wonder. did. And it was just like I could get in the fall mood with all the trees. I love <laughs> this movie. <laughs> it's my movie. <laughs> A lot of people will come and say nay. They come and say They're nay. naysayers. <laughs> and then it shows him in the hospital, and I love the scene where he's sitting at the table with all the crazy people, and he just screams enough, which apparently means enough of the found footage nonsense. They're going to switch over to the actual film now. Yeah. He just, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, he's just explaining. I can't take this. <laughs> can't do this found footage shit. We're done. And then, See, it was a weird transition when they had that, because you have, you have this, and then all of a sudden, you have the the what is it the credits going over Marilyn Manson music yes Marilyn Manson disposable teens and I sang those yes. lyrics with all the, the anger of a disposable teen in the 2000s this movie is pretty but disposable teen, <laughs> right, so. the it's one thing fitting, I do have to say before song. Be, the one thing we have I do have to say before we go forward the only person that I actually liked in this movie was the damn sheriff because when he gets introduced, <laughs> oh, yes. when he yells at everybody telling them to get the F out of like oh, those they, of both. The oh, sheriff yeah. was my yeah. favorite part of this fucking movie. And were his yes. teeth broken? I don't know. Were his front teeth know. broken? Because that's what it looked hey, like. Hey, when you have a beautiful braid of hair like that man did, <laughs> does it matter what your fucking teeth look like? And he had the perfect okay. voice, too. God I damn fucking qu- kids, get the I fuck have out of here. <laughs> Specifically for Paul, because Angie, I don't think you've ever seen it. But Paul, what movie do you re- remember him from? Because as soon as I saw him, because I recently saw rewatched this movie after I don't know how many years, but I'm like, is that who I think it is? But I, do you remember him from any specific? I know movie? I've seen him, but I can't place it. And if I looked it up, I'd be like, damn it, that's right. So I don't remember. Every brown person, every Mexican has had to have seen at least one time Blood In, Blood Out, and that's where I remember him from. Oh, what movie was? What what part was he in that? He was the chef. Oh, okay. Remember when Mika? Because I That's I rewatched right. Blood and Blood Out maybe a month ago, so it was still fresh in my head. And he was the sheriff where Miklo has to kill to get into the gang. Yeah, I don't know this movie. Yeah, you had <laughs> yeah, and you had a VHS. So. Oh, yes, I did have a VHS. I had lots of VHSs. Okay. But yeah, the sheriff to me was the best character in this movie just because of how much of an asshole he was to everybody and he didn't take anybody's shit. Like I said, especially in the beginning when he yelled at all of the tourists that were, what is it, storming that little campsite or wherever the yeah, supposed Blair Witch was. Yeah, in their goth clothes. I was yeah. like, why are you all here in your goth clothes? <laughs> like, what are you doing? Okay, I, okay. I, I do have to point out that I do like the, the fact that this movie was kind of also making fun of the real people that would do that shit yes, and it go was. to that little yes. town and uh-huh. all that. So I'm like, I do appreciate the satire and that to be like, you're all fucking stupid. I felt like all yep. of these characters were satire in their own way. Like, yeah. they're all so ridiculous. Watching this, I mean, I didn't the first time I watched it when I was a tiny baby. But the second time around as an adult, I'm like, yeah, these kind of are plays. They're just really 
like plays on every different type of character they're playing. Like you got the researcher and the girlfriend and then the witch and the crazy goth who's sometimes psychic and sometimes not. <laughs> and then yeah. you just have it's crazy Jeff. <laughs> Jeff is Ish. just crazy, like intense into the Blair Witch. I know they, okay. Uh, they gave these characters, like some characters had backstory that was not relevant at all. Basically others had no backstory when you're like okay well what the fuck i don't know where they're coming from like okay the the couple like the researcher couple at first i'm like all right they're like college students or they're legitimate people trying to write a book and then later he's like we're never gonna make the deadline so i'm like either they got an advance or like something right yeah but then it's yeah. like they're like we're gonna stab the line and get drunk and i'm like they're wait what <laughs> like they See, have my no issue fucking thing like my issue with yeah. those two is like we have, like, these are originals. I was like, who fucking takes their original copies of shit on a camping trip? The, the same research exactly. couple, the same research couple that would get drunk when they're trying to you know, I, stay up all night. I, I was just like, this makes no sense. Why are you carting fucking files into the middle of the woods? That's not necessary for right now. You can leave know, those like, at home. Like, what were you going to do? The witch just shows up. You're like, okay, can you look at this document and tell me? Like, seriously, like, is this a picture of you? Like, what are you doing? No. This was witch reviewed. That's what they want. It's a instead of peer reviewed, they wanted a witch review. They wanted a witch review. Well, like book yes. of book of stamp or stamp of approval. I didn't get why they were like so into getting drunk too. I was like, was the orgy planned? Because that's that was naturally the route it was headed. Like because they start the touching each that- other and getting up on each other before yeah. anything well, crazy no, cause, happens. Because at first it was just the researcher couple that were just fucking uh, like I call them like he was like being your a, monocle maniacal the, the, the pot <laughs> philosopher when yes. he's like the Bermuda Triangle, the Bermuda Triangle. is just this thing man. <laughs> And where people go and they disappear oh, and like he was just going off on a thing and I put um Jeffrey just turns into every skeezy indie producer trying to get laid he was yeah. like I'm gonna make a show about you yeah like, God. I think the thing that Video bothers me lie. the thing that bothered me most about the little campsite thing when they were getting drunk is Tristan is pregnant why the hell is she getting drunk Drunk first off, I know. I know. Drunk and, and high, high and, and, and all, like drunk Stephen and high doesn't even doing ask all these her. Things. Yeah, Stephen doesn't even ask her until like they've been passing around bottles. Like he's yeah. like, you've been drinking like a fish. I'm like bitch, don't talk to me now. Like you haven't cared this whole fucking time. <laughs> he's like, I don't care with your nonsense. That's the thing that I don't get because you don't see it until later that you find out she has the miscarriage. I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, She's now, just been drinking a shit. Yeah. Yeah. Now like you guys are worried been, about it. Yeah, yeah. Like now you guys give a shit. I know. Was that when not before, the plan? I know. Like nobody said anything. <laughs> like um, Kim, the the goth psychic, the sometimes psychic. Yeah. So, yeah. She was like, you know, she had that whole scene where she's like, you know, he doesn't want it or he's not sure or he wants it, but you're not sure. Blah blah blah. But then nobody at no point was like, oh, you shouldn't be drinking. And then nobody the next day, even when she's fucking bleeding, was like, oh shit, wait, you're pregnant or whatever, like. Yeah, it was like nothing. Like it was just kind of like a minor thing that didn't mean anything, but it was supposed to be this big significant thing in the whole movie. Like it just didn't make sense. There was a lot yeah, that, that doesn't to- make sense. The only reason Kim was here because she thought the movie was cool. Yeah, <laughs> that's the only reason her ass <laughs> is out there in these woods. Yeah. <laughs> well, I assume they, in her uh, goth clothes. I assume they needed yes. five of them to have the ritual Apparently. done. So they were like, all right, we need another character. Oh, and Erica. Erica's an angry witch. She's an angry witch. She's just mad at the world's portrayal oh, of no. the okay, witches. Yeah, and- she, yeah, and that scene where she's like, oh, you're just selling out my culture. And this, I'm like, oh, you poor oppressed white witch. Oh, no, I called that yes. the, um, the people don't like me circle. Where she's yeah. like, I grew up as a witch, and the other one's like, I grew up wearing black, and they're like, people don't like us. I don't know. I was in a mental oh. hospital. <laughs> Crap, much. I just remembered something about something about Jeffrey earlier in the uh, in the movie, where we first get introduced with him, and he's making the the witch sticks. Yeah, and he says that whole thing about people come up to me and they're like, dude. I know. And then I'm like, I know. I know. And I'm, we just get I know. it. We all like, just get it, man. We just get it. No, my, my favorite part of that whole thing when you first meet him was like, and then you're like, hey, what's up, Janine? He just like, <laughs> yeah. oh, yeah. stops in the middle of his like, yeah, so then we have a naysayers here. They come and say they, nay. They come and say nay. I'm like, do they? Do people walk up to you and say nay? You should talk to somebody about that. 
Yes. <laughs> like that's that's probably not happening. <laughs> Are we old timey voting in the in Congress? Like, what do you mean? Oh, uh, but no, they do. So, they go out into these woods to see something. They all want to see something. We got the researcher and the pregnant chick who are there trying to find proof that the witch exists. Eric's, Erica is just angry and out there trying to commune with the spirits. Oh, no. What was it? She's going to be my mentor. I'm like, bitch, <laughs> yeah. you don't know that. Did you ask her? Like, <laughs> I was assume shit like, that? like, that's such a new age hippie witch shit. Like, no, like everybody's love. Like, bitch, no, they're not. <laughs> Like you need See, to wake up about some shit, man. The thing that confused me the most about Erica and Kim's characters is why the fuck were they there? I could understand why Steven and Tristan were going because yeah, they're doing research on a book or whatever need be, but I just do not get and understand why they were there. Well, Kim just thinks the movie was cool and she just wants to apparently go get shit faced out in the forest for no reason. I know. I thought they were like, I thought the, the researcher group like put that all together. Like, cause they kind of seem cause Erica was with them in the beginning when we first meet the couple in the van. Yeah. And then yeah. they were like, we're going to pick up your whatever. And you know, that's when he was like, she emailed me two days ago or whatever. So like, I, I just assume that like the researcher couple was like, we're doing, we're going to take this person who's a witch and this person who's a psychic and we're going to try and, you know, whatever. I mean, I don't even know what their fucking yeah. plan was. Like it never was clear yeah. at all what oh, their see, plan was. I just was. thought they had all separately booked the trip through Jeff because they talk about like the researcher couples. Like I thought you had 10,000 soul and he's like, no, that's my store. He's like, this is the first trip I've ever <laughs> taken. And they're all like, oh, we're all virgins goodness. here. So no, I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, did they, they all book separately? Cause that's when he asks her, like, what are we doing? Steven asks Jeff, what are we doing at the cemetery? He's like meeting your other tour person or something like that. So I just assumed they all booked this tour separately. Know. Either yeah, way, it, it was pretty know. fucking unclear. Yeah. So. It is very unclear. And it's very unclear why they just get hammered. It's very unclear to me, like, why Kim thinks that, um, uh, like, she deserves anything. And they're like, oh, yeah. she's like, I need I need this and this now. And I'm like, who the fuck are you think you are, bitch? And I know. And he's just like, weed's what I got, beer's what we're going to get. I was like, that is a nice tour guide. That is a great tour yeah. guide. You always need one of those kind of dudes. I don't know, though, because, yeah, because, okay, any movie where there's a tour guide that seems cool, everyone always fucking dies. Yeah, right? that's pick, true. Pick so that maybe, maybe you need the nerdy, Chern responsible okay. one. Chernobyl Diaries? Like, oh, it's, it's okay, friend. It's okay. We just go here. Yes. Yeah. All <laughs> yeah, right. And what fair. happened? They all fucking die, man. Fair. Get yourself responsible tour guides. <laughs> that's a fair. If you have a tour guide that says something like, you guys want to see something cool? Yeah, it's the wrong yeah. tour guide. Don't ever go with a tour guide who's going to make you hike at night, which is what the competing yeah. tour group of the the Blair Witch something. They it was, were the Blair Witch walk? Yeah, something like that. Something they were like the that. Blair Witch hunt. <laughs> I, I'd see another piece of Santa. I, yes. I thought that scene was funny just because I'm like, yeah, I could see this shit happening. Like, I thought it was ridiculous. I was like, <laughs> why is Erica so ready to like punch this other tour group in the face just for showing up. She's like aggressive. Because she's, she's waiting to meet her mentor. She's like fuck you guys. We got here first. Like she screams at, and she throws that up guy's camera out of her face. Yeah. So I'm yeah. like Jesus Erica calm down. Maybe she's will, an angry drunk. I will karma you to death with <laughs> my witch spells. And then they uh, basically gaslight the other tour group to go to Coffin Rock. That was they, a, that was a yeah. straight lie. That wasn't gaslighting. <laughs> yeah, a straight was like, lie. All right, fine. That was that we'll was call taking, it what it is. That was taking advantage of three people that weren't from America and spoke broken English because mm -hmm. they were like Coffin Rock. Okay, let's go. But again, why are you hiking at night? That is the dumbest thing. And then you okay, got to set up a but like think, a campsite. Okay, at night? no, but but think about like the stupid people that would go on shit like that. They're gonna want to. Mm -hmm. Go at night yeah. because it's scary. Like, okay, if you have a walking tour of anything, like Jack the Ripper walking tour, oh, they London, do, have them at do you think night. they're going to yeah, do it during gonna, the day? They'll have, they fun? have them at night, but they have a bolt, hey, but, but, but still. Which is more fun, huh? But still, walking around a street where some guy, you know, however many years ago killed somebody versus going into the woods and hiking and setting up camp in the middle of the night? No fucking thank you. And okay. not really having good lights either because I didn't yeah. Yeah. really see any headlamps. Like, you're doing this in the fucking dark, yeah, like, which is just fucking stupid. It is fucking stupid. Have you ever tried to set up a tent in the dark? No. It's yeah, annoying. It's, hard. <laughs> like, it's just stupid. 
there, there, there are people that would do this shit though. There oh, are I know they that are, would be like, but it's stupid. Okay, because think about it. Let's think about it in their in their town. Like these are just regular, you know, towny guys that are just looking to make quick bucks, right? They're, like they have fucking lady. Like I yeah. sold, I sold my rocks. I sold like, my, I did my this, rock garden. Like, you yeah. know? <laughs> so it's like. If you have a tour during the day and like the competing douche that you know lives next door is like I'll just do one at night, then who's gonna go? Like the people that would come to this town specifically for this bullshit would want to do the night one. Okay, but yeah. poor PSA kids, if there's ever a tour where you have to hike in the dark and then set up a tent in the dark, just skip that one. That's all I'm saying. You don't want to do You're that. Like, no. It's a lot yeah, they, of work. They, they mean, it's okay, hard. I get your point. They should have <laughs> they should have been there hours ago and set up their shit before yes. dark. So, all right, maybe yes. like do a you know, a, a so night, Erica night did, walk. Erica did have a point in saying that they were there first. They were, so. yeah. Like their tent was first set up. They had ever they had a fire going. I'm sorry, you don't yeah. get to be here. We're We've here already. The permits. Yeah, no, and I love that part. He's like from Cravens, bullshit. <laughs> like I know that dude, <laughs> and he didn't give no one God permits. Damn it, boy. <laughs> <laughs> but then they're all there to see something and you know commune with Ellie what was her name I don't remember the wi- the Blair Witch Ellie but then, Farmington I don't fucking and apparently know. to do this they just have to get fucking blitzed <laughs> they I, have to I get just don't, so get, I don't drunk. get that either you try having a weird orgy with a pregnant chick and a, a witch and a psychic without being drunk all right it's kind of awkward <laughs> I mean well, I guess still, I mean to me you're going there to do that to see whatever some sorted some some sort of paranormal stuff or whatever need be, don't you think you want to be freaking sober? Because if you're drunk, you're high or whatever need be, the smallest thing is going to set you off. You hear a squirrel, you're going to be like, "Oh shit, there she is!" It's the witch. The no, see, <laughs> yeah. I probably I would probably be the exact fucking opposite. I would be having a good old grand time and miss seeing some shit. Like she could be standing exactly. two feet away from me, and I'm just fucking gone and having a good time in my own world. <laughs> And then I miss everything that happens. I know. And it's like I said, yeah. not one of them at one point was like, no, guys, maybe we shouldn't get too drunk or anything. Because it's like as soon as the other tour group left and they were like, uh, Jeff was like, I'm not I'm not trusting them. They might come back later. And then uh, sometimes Kim was like, uh, sometimes yeah. psychic Kim was oh, like, yeah. oh, yeah, like, they're, they're not they coming back. No, but then, OK, what's the other guy's name? Not Steven. Jeff. Steven. Then Steven, Steven was like, we're staying up all night. And then they started drinking again. Yeah. yeah. We're going to be up all night. And then they just party. I'm like, how old are you? <laughs> no, I'm like, and then the next day you want to like be worried about deadlines and shit. Like, make up your mind. Dude. You I can't know. be both dudes. And the, the, it's so funny because this trip that they take, and it's in the middle of the woods. Like we said, they hiked there. They have the most camera yeah. equipment ever and the most research ever taken on a camping trip. So they had to haul yeah. all of that fucking shit out there. And it just it gets trashed. Just they wake up and it's all gone. But I I will say that I've I've always loved that um imagery of when Tristan has her dream where she takes the blanket to the creek or whatever and she's standing yeah. there and you clearly see it's it's a little baby doll foot. Like it's not a real yeah. baby <laughs> foot or nothing. But I always yeah. thought it was a super creepy imagery. Like it's it does its job. It's a cool scene. I know if the whole movie was like that, like, I think it would have been a great movie. Yeah, because the next kind of creepy thing that we get is that was it the the little girl the little ghost girl in the hospital? In the hospital. Yeah, and it's awful. Yeah. It's, it's just terrible. awful. And I'm like, it could have been so much better with subtler kind of you know the dream in imagery that they worked with in that scene, but it just kind of goes off the rails because they they do have like these. These I call them hallucinations throughout their yeah. time and the. They were just they were acid trips. Pretty they were, much, they were just yeah. having a little acid See, trip. Okay, so they could okay. have gone deeper with that imagery. That I feel. okay, that is what made this movie better for me. All right, so if you watch this or the next time you watch this or whatever, just imagine that they were all on acid and then <laughs> that's why they murdered everyone. Like when you see the videos at the end, it's really what happened. Not because of a fucking witch or anything that they brought back with them. It's because they yeah. were all on fucking acid and they killed a bunch of people. Yeah. And then yeah. Kim was the only one not on acid because she had just got out of the hospital. So yeah. <laughs> see, you mean the- Tristan, not Kim. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, Tristan. Tristan. So, yeah, see, I just made this movie 10 times better. So thank you or you're welcome to whoever wrote this piece of crap. I love the when they okay. when they wake up and it's like snowing the research all over. I'm like, did they get a shredder? Did they know, pack yeah. a shredder? That's what I was wondering. 
That was, was my question. Once you figure out what it was, because you're like, well, what is this weird ash? Because you would assume, okay, the fire went out, now it's just the ash is going everywhere. But then when they start realizing, when Stephen realizes, like, oh shit, it's my research papers. Who ripped them up? Who did this? I'm like, I'm thinking exactly what you thought, Angie. Did somebody go out there with like a with a shredder and just start making it rain okay. all 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 the paper? Okay, you guys forget. Right. This is where the witch lives. All right. So she witches so, her powers. So, so witches yeah. have control of animals in the forest. So a murder of crows came in and shredded <laughs> all that fucking paper. Rich. And you also forget that witches fly on broomsticks. Uh, so then she was just up there she doing was just up her, there snowing it, her right? witch cackle, like circling round and round, just throwing it out in the air. <laughs> like they're going to wake up soon enough. No, I was making it rain, paper. When, when he like, like <laughs> most of these are originals. I'm like, you fucking moron! Like any academic would not take original documents with right, them in the woods. You're really focusing on the wrong <laughs> really? parts of this fucking movie. You're like, here's where this movie was bad. Originals, oh, originals. originals. It, it annoys me as a historian. It annoys me. Okay, you do not and take original other, documents the, to the woods. The other thing that they did that was stupid when they said, "Oh, you brought the laptop, right? You put everything on there." I was like, "No, I just took notes." Motherfucker, this is the early or this is barely in 2000. Laptops are fucking expensive. You would think that you would put all of your shit on there because of that's what they're made for you put all of your work and all of that on a digital cop or digital form so you have it in case your physical ones get lost or get destroyed somehow yeah but this I, that just this was the 2000s though so if all those paperwork wouldn't have fit on one lab that was like, <laughs> that was, that was, that was yeah, like a true. whole that was like a whole 12 gigs of memory you needed and you think the laptop in the 2000s <laughs> oh but that, I, okay. I I love when they wake up and they're just like uh, Jeff says fuck uh, like fuck a lot <laughs> And then yeah. he calls the other. He, they think that the other tour group came and he destroyed all the papers and broke all the cameras. And Jeff calls them dickweeds. <laughs> That's yeah. right. Dude. Dick so fucking dickweeds. And it took it took me back to fucking uh, Dreamcatcher. <laughs> Come on, dickweeds. <laughs> <laughs> little what's his name? Oh yeah, Beaver. Little Beaver little, was ready to fight Beaver all was ready the dickweeds. To fight the dickweeds. Yep. And so was <laughs> so was Jeff. Well, it's not Jeff. No, it was Jeff. Jeff was ready to fight the dickweeds. Uh, but but Kim's, Kim's psychicness kicks in again and says, luckily the tapes are still here. We'll be able to see any, or everything that happened last night. I know. It's almost like her like her psychic abilities are basically like what others or spirits or the witch or whoever wants them, like wants her to see and find. So it's like, what's the point of having that ability at all? Yeah. And I guess... You don't really ask for it, so if you're stuck with it, like that's probably the worst fucking thing about having an ability like that. Like people don't ever think about like, oh, I wish I could do this and that. But like, what if it's just stupid shit? Like if you had the psychic ability to know like the most grossest thing or whatever. <laughs> it's like, oh, somebody had sex on that. Or you could see farts. Like, what if that was your ability? <laughs> you could see farts. Like, oh my God. That would be the worst. That's the worst fucking thing you could ever oh. have. Like you're born with the ability to see farts and just like everywhere. Clouds of farts <laughs> all day long. And it's like, why do you wear a mask all the time? If you knew how many you farts knew, were in this air, you like, only oh knew. my God. <laughs> see, the thing to me with her power, yeah, I'm going to make a South Park reference, but to me, I viewed her as Captain Hindsight because that's pretty much what it was. Yeah, she never really got ahead of things <laughs> with her, no. her powers, which is kind Hindsight. of like the great part about being psychic, right? Like you get to see shit before yeah. it happens, but not hers. Yeah. Yeah, th that's she what I'm could, saying. She should have known, or she could have said something, oh, uh, they're not coming back because we're going to kill them. Right? Like, you and, just know they're coming no. back? That's not helpful. <laughs> yeah, it's like, like, you just know, know the they're not going to come back. <laughs> know the like, big not, part. Yeah, because you're not, you just know they're not going to come back. Later to find out, okay, the reason they're not coming back is somebody did kill them. Like, really? What kind of powers do you have? Because okay. to me, it's just being... A, it's being hindsight. I was confused about her abilities. and the, Okay, so right after the, the other tour group leaves, right, and then everyone starts getting drunk again, she has that moment where she goes and lays on those rocks or whatever, and she has that fucking staring contest with the fucking owl. Oh, she eye fucks the owl? Yeah. yeah. And then she was having those visions of them murdering them as we come to find out at the end yeah, of the Yeah, it was movie. all, like, slashed so, together yeah. of them So murdered. I'm like, was she, was she seeing that, or was that 
supposed to be something that just the audience was seeing because well, that got really fucking confusing because they showed it at other points like throughout the movie yeah. yeah so it wasn't specifically you know it seemed like it was related to her but in that scene it's really did specifically seem like she was having these visions while staring at the fucking owl yeah and i always assumed yeah. that she was having the visions but she was so blitz that she couldn't follow through with the visions. The, the visions, <laughs> the visions are spinning because we've all fucking. We've been all there. laid down and spinned, and she's like, I've "Fuck had, this! I gotta sleep." And then the, the took over. Hey, like ha- that's what half happens. of college I've had spinning visions, so I'm like, "Hey, she I've had her foot on the ground. We've all been there yeah. where you gotta level yourself out a bit." Okay, and is that what owls' <laughs> eyes really look like? Because the, those owls are creepy. It was that like just they like are. A, a done up owl? No, owls, thing, like. owls are vicious. Like those, they got those creepy, just... bright, big See, ass eyes. If, if I ever have to punch a bird, it's either going to be an owl or a fucking goose. Because I, I feel a like goose. I feel like those <laughs> two fucking are things, dickheads. Because like, you geese, cause, geese are dickheads. Geese's, geese's, gooses. Yeah, fuck. I'm. It's going to be like geese's, a, mooses. I want to. I'm going to punch like a gaggle of geese one day. Because I'm just going to be like at the park <laughs> or something. No, no, you got to punch a murder of crows because no, that no. sounds cooler. No, no. I, if I'm going to punch one, it's going to be like an old cartoon where they just just bang heads like <laughs> they just knock each other over and then we were eating goose that fucking night oh i bet it would be good too because i'm like i will devour my enemies that i vanquished today okay so back to this at movie the park they all decide they're gonna stay at jeff's house i don't know why until he reviews the thing i was like nope take my ass to a hotel jeff i don't want to sleep with you at your okay. house okay first of in all your abandoned broom factory first house. Of all, it wasn't our house first of all Jeff thought he was living Ghostbusters life. He did. Second of all, there is some negligence on Burkittsville to be like, we will sell you this condemned building for a dollar in hopes that it just collapses and you fucking die, Jeff. you die, yes. I mean, really, it's Burkittsville's fault, this whole thing. (laughs) They shouldn't have let him out of the hospital. I think Kim Kim even says that with her sometimes psychicness. She's like, they shouldn't have let you out. You're crazy. They were all fucking crazy. (laughs) They were all fucking crazy. Okay, um... I love how they conveniently, when they get to his house, they're like, this is still in the Black Forest or whatever, whatever it's called, Black County Black Forest. Black Hills or some shit. The Black Hills, yeah, whatever, you know, the witch was her realm or whatever the fuck you call it. So yeah. I'm like, oh, it's convenient. That, yeah, so she's going to come find you here, basically, is what mm-hmm. you're alluding to. Pretty much. Yeah. I love it how, so they sit down and they start watching a lot of the, of the tapes and there's a lot that they go through. And they all kind of are like, Kim's got this rash. And they're like, oh, it's chafage. And then they're all like, we kind of all have it, too. And I'm like, y'all got a rash? That should, maybe maybe we yeah. should start looking into that. Well, uh, <laughs> well, how much of the orgy do they remember? They though? don't remember the orgy okay. until the end. So, oh. Well, they only blacked out for, what, three hours, I think is what I it was? I think they said three or four hours, something like that. It wasn't it was that some, many it was hours. Like that. Yeah. But the weird thing that I thought is once they got back to his little whatever you want to call it, how he said there's, there's like, I have hours of tape to watch. I'm like, how many hours of tape do you have to watch when you had what? Four cameras. And I know like a motherfucker couldn't put it on fast forward and watch it faster. Like, I'm like, you don't have to watch minute by minute, dude. Like scrub through it real quick until you see some kind of weird shit happen. Yeah. I love, and they kind of have that. I love how when they get in and they see like his Blair witch store and Erica has witch rage. (laughs) Yeah, she's like just a num- another. What is it? She says something about consumerism or capitalism or something. She gets real angry about yeah. how he's selling then, these witch yeah. things. And that was her whole line about you're you're stealing your culture for profit or some bullshit like that. Like, oh, look at this poor little white oppressed lady. And the thing that cracked me up about that though is Kim was like, "I like your place." I know. Yeah, <laughs> I do love her little snide no, comment though. I'd hate. Him, I'd yeah. hate for people to steal the things that you've already stolen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's just his warehouse full of stolen goods. Yeah. Uh, but then Tristan starts going batshit crazy. Steven hears a crying ghost. Things just kind of go off the rails at this point when they get to the house and they're all kind of, they're all having their own little like crazy moments and they all realize it, but nobody does anything about it. I know yeah. it gives that weird thing where Erica and um Oh yeah, Erica fuck. and Steven hallucinate together. Yeah, when they, they hallucinate a sex scene together when they is what I put. And basically screw each other. Yeah. And I'm like, then okay, Erica murders. Yeah, but him. okay, wait, when yeah. does when does the dream part hallucination start and where did it end? Because 
did he really just like yell at her like that, or was that part of the hallucination thing too? Because they she she nothing. never sat down. Like it shows her at the fridge, and then she goes and he yells at her, and then she walks over there. But then when they snap yeah. out of it, like they're sitting across from each other. So I'm like, did any of that really happen? I know, and like, I was like, why did they need to hallucinate the sex scene? Like that Erica knifes him or fingernails. She Freddy Freddy's she, him yeah. down the front in his stomach and i was like what is the point of this and somebody should be like hey something's happening guys <laughs> we should look into this should we talk like about i'm seeing shit yeah okay but i, like I kind seeing- of i thought it was funny that they didn't talk about it but then at the same time it's like people have always had sex dreams about people that they work with or go to school with or just random shit right it happens yeah. randomly right yeah but no one's ever had a sex dream about another person when like you're both there and you both the had the same dream yeah. at the same time yeah. so like I could see how that would be a little awkward you know you're at the fucking deli with Jeff and you're like hey, hey bud <laughs> then it ends with you murdering him <laughs> yeah like so you know gonna talk about that shared dream we had because oh, that was and then awkward Erica's bad day just gets worse because they find her naked on the tapes from the woods Oh, yeah, we should spin them and they're like, oh, there's somebody there, and let's find out. And they're like, well, we found out, we found something that you should see. And the weird thing about it is how they kept saying, oh, maybe you should slow it down, and then Hanks, and he magically does all this thing. And to me, it's like, how did you know it was going to be her before you did all the stuff that everybody kept telling you to do? Like when Stephen was like, can you enhance it? Can you enhance it? And he does it. And then all of a sudden, everybody at the same time was like, Erica, that's you. Well, see, I always took it as Jeff and Kim had seen it already, and so it was just new information to Stephen and Erica. Yeah, I thought I thought they knew as well too. Yeah, because okay. he was like, "Okay, bitch, we we know you know how to work a pole now." <laughs> Damn, girl. Like, I think she freaks the fuck out and she goes and chants and cries loud for you know, a while. Just like you did something. Like, how the fuck do you think? Like, okay, yeah, we took that footage that we just shot of you naked and doing you know work in the pole, and we put it into the camp footage. Yeah, that's what happened. Yeah. Stupid ass. And I love how they're like, she's like, I don't remember. Like, none of us remember. But they're like, but if it's just some witch thing, you can tell us. I'm like, bitch, do you remember what you did? Why are you holding to me a higher standard than you're know, holding yourself? I know. It's like, yeah. it's like, you haven't even gotten through all the fucking footage yet. Like, just wait. Because, like, I, that would be my thing. It'd be like, okay, this is the first thing we found. So, fuck. We probably got and all And that ain't crazy. even that bad. She's just naked out in the woods. Yeah. Like, I'm that's like, not bad. Yeah. <laughs> like, she's just working the tree. So, I'm like, shit like who knows what i did that, that would have been me like, right? i would have been that guy I'm like i don't know what the fuck i like, did what the fuck did so, we do like that would just add to the mystery like, yeah and it's like if yeah, this shit what? happened if if erica did this shit like in front of us then what the fuck did i do I last know. night like Fucking crazy so i'm like now. i'm gonna stay quiet and just be like look erica let's just let's just wait and see what happens because you might not be the craziest one yet oh yeah but then tristan like, and her don't crazy freak out state yet. don't freak out yeah Tr- tristan and her crazy state uh, tells everybody that the the chafing on their their bodies is the pagan alphabet, and it means you've been touched by a witch. I don't remember if Tristan says that or if Erica does, but one of them. I don't. Says it. I don't like Tristan. You don't like Tristan, her name, or the uh, the character, okay, well, the or the char- actress. Okay, well, the character was bleh. I'm saying more than name. Like, I feel like you have to say, yeah. like, Tristan. Tristan. Like, there's like, you can't say, <laughs> Next up, Tristan. Like, no, it's Tristan. Tristan. How do you spell that with a Tristan? <laughs> I will say the worst death is Erica's non death. I mean, she just Jedi's away. Yeah. Yeah. And you don't see anything. <laughs> you don't. It's really, like, it's like, really, what's the fucking point? Like, nothing cool happens. Like, okay, no. if they did the death that way, but then later when they find her in the closet and then she comes up like a zombie or some shit or just like just some fucking weird thing like where her body starts telling them like you're yeah, something. anything, you know, like but I, no. I would have been better if she just had disappeared like altogether. Like I know, was you this, never see her again would have been a better. A, was this a thing. fucking Weinstein production? They're like, all right, you're just gonna stand there. You need more naked chick with, over there. With your underwear and, <laughs> and you're gonna be topless. And they call her parents. And I was like, why is that your go to? Like why would she have called her parents? I, I, yeah. I don't. I, I didn't she understand it, that storyline at all. She made it known earlier in the movie that her parents disowned her. So she talked about a little bit about her, what her parents, 
or what her dad was a minister or pastor or whatever it is. Yeah, she says in in one ta- or in a one church town or something like that. So they yeah. they call this magical one church town that they find in the, the phone book cuz that's where they were looking for I, numbers. I guess. <laughs> Because he doesn't have the internet because when she asked what the hospital's number was, he says there's a phone book over there. Yeah. So, oh, this, this movie is old. <laughs> no, I do love, sense. I think it was earlier in the movie, and I think we forgot to talk about it, is when the sheriff calls him and starts cussing at him and he tells him to turn on the TV. I'm like, <laughs> He's no, oh, yeah. watch the TV. when he waves at him, he's like, can you see me, you stupid son of a bitch? <laughs> yeah, it's like, I know this was you. <laughs> Don't you, leave. Yep. Nobody goes anywhere. I love that. I love that sheriff. He's <laughs> the best part of the movie. I, the whole part where they, after they call her parents and the, the lady, the bitch on the phone is like, they never had any children. I'm like, I'm not really convinced by that bitch that, like, yeah. They're not just disowned. Okay, either way, it's like, what the fuck was the parents going to do? But like, just so you know, like, we don't know where the fuck your daughter is. Yeah. Like, okay, that I haven't known I know. where she. Why are you I haven't known where parents? she is for five fucking years. <laughs> so now you're telling me that she's there, but, but she's then, not. And then, but it's like a big reveal. I was like, that wasn't a big reveal because they all get pissed at oh. Erica about lying. I was like, who says she's lying? That bitch on the phone yeah. was probably lying. I know. <laughs> and it's like what. There was no point in finding those fucking files because it didn't do anything. Like they, it, they, it just pissed them off. But then it's like we didn't get any confirmations or revelations in those files after oh, that. Oh, the, one, like, the ones that she finds. Yeah, with when the, she finds in the, 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 in the phone, phone book. book. Yeah. yeah. See, to me, that was weird because it was a weird like flash forward, flash back. So I, I don't get what they were trying. Like you see later on that it was the files because that's when they're in the interrogation room. Yeah. But to me, it was weird because is it. To me, was was that playing the of uh, a flash forward thing? Because they never really explain how they got there. So to me, it's like, are they just so fucked up in the head that they're everything's mixing in together and they're just seeing things? Or it, it was just confusing to me because I don't know what they were doing with that. So have you seen the 2016 version or the 2016 oh. sequel? No. Okay. Um. In that one, they play a lot with time and space. Yeah. And it kind of goes back okay. and forth. So I, I kind of feel like in this one, like there were little glimpses of that. Like the, okay. the original guys that made the first one, they said that they were given executive producer credits, but they had very little creative input in this whole thing. And okay. I feel like they probably were like, well, if we were going to make a sequel, we would probably do this, this, and this. Which I feel like the whole time and space kind of, you know, bending or kind of rearranging yeah. that is in the 2016 one. I think that's probably they just laid down the framework for what they were probably thinking about and that maybe the director tried to use that. But then when the studio interfered, like it just like, I mean, either way, this fucking movie got muddled to death yeah. with so many yeah. different yeah, like storylines or things that they thought were going to make it better somehow but i don't, I don't know. know the so, owl commits suicide the owl commit suicide through the front window yeah i'm like what, what was like yeah the, what was that whole subplot of the I know, owl, I don't the know. owl like tristan stares at it outside and just kind of goes crazy and then kim fucking eats it so yeah. I guess that was you <laughs> jeff know. starts going crazy again and i love when tristan is like freaking tristan. out in the bedroom and she's doing that thing where she's spinning around and around and she's just like talking manically and then she stops herself and she's like, Steven, I'm going, I think I'm going fucking crazy. And Steven's like, no, 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 no. I'm like, no, bitch, listen. <laughs> if somebody tells you that they think they're going crazy, that's when you need to be like, sure, let's, let's go get you some help and get them out of wherever yeah. they are. Let's just leave yeah. you in here. By Especially yourself. if she was just, you know, spinning around on the bed and couldn't stop herself freaking out. Maybe we should call somebody. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Just, you know. No, I have just, somebody get checked out. Just go back to bed, and I'm gonna go mind fuck Erica in the kitchen. Yeah, take this pill. You're good. Like what? <laughs> there was just a. There was still a lot of things that just didn't make sense with her because okay, she suffered the miscarriage earlier in the movie. Don't you think that they would keep her in the hospital a little bit longer than just a few hours? Yeah, especially because they said she had hypothermia. Yeah. And she lost a lot of blood. I'm like, there's no way they yeah. just send her ass home. Yeah, because it was like they got up that morning, and then if they got there, you know. Even you know mid morning, like they were still home before night. Like, yeah, yeah. And again, that DM Perkinsville. And again, I'm not going from hospital to Jeff's her, grungy ass her, warehouse. No, 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 thank you. Take her me to HMO the They covered the you know six hours of. <laughs> yeah, <stay with> <laughs> got kicked out of the emergency room. Damn it. 
Uh, I I do like the scene where the the sheriff calls Jeff and he's like freaking out and he's like I'm outside you dumb shit open the fucking door <laughs> but it's like Jeff is so crazy at this point he's like I don't see anybody outside but he's calling my name like I don't know what to yeah. do and <laughs> he just kind of freaks out and oh. like he opens the door and there's nobody there and. Uh, but dogs wasn't there. What dogs? was with the yeah, fucking you're... dogs? Yeah, there's no explanation for the dogs that he goes the to get dogs, a gun. The dogs, the kids, the one little girl. Like, what the hell, man? It was man? just a bunch of Blair Witch themes thrown in. Yeah, the like, sprinkled. Right, well, we mentioned this, so we gotta have this. We mentioned, like, were there dogs in the first one that they made? I don't fucking I don't remember think the first there one was enough. dogs in the first one. But Eric is just frozen in the closet. I was like, did was her body outside? Is she yeah, frozen? I uh, yeah. I, I don't know. Man. Cause she Jedi'd away, and then the next thing you just see her like she's in complete rigor mortis apparently, because she yeah. was able to stand up completely straight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It just makes it no just sense. And then for some reason, Tristan finally lets on that you have to put the keystrokes backwards in the computer, and that magically makes the hidden tapes on these tapes come out. It makes no sense. It, it makes them come out <laughs> partially so they can see little yeah. glimpses. So they can see the whole, four hours missing. Yeah, they don't even see the four hours. I think it's like a little, like it was like a two minute it was clip, an edited, basically. It was an edited yeah. for time little clip yeah, of what like, they did. All right, here's the, the witch edited for you. Yep, that was really nice of her. Yeah, yeah. That go. bitch was busy, man. Mm-hmm. Like this is a lot yeah. of effort for her to, you know, pretend to be the sheriff and call him on the phone and then pretend to be the... She's conjuring dogs. She's she, conjuring yeah, the, kids. Dogs, yeah. the kids the she fucking, froze erica's ass the, uh, like, the bridge collapsing just, like, yeah. she, like she puts a lot oh, of don't forget about the, this don't forget about the van either where oh yeah, yeah she, she demolishes the van she had to come out and fucking street fighter the van it oh. was like fucking yeah. crazy oh, okay fucking kim should have ran over those three dudes like, she should have like, i would have been like just go <laughs> right? straight like just back like, it up fuck bitch. The, yeah like, you're in a fuck van you. fuck that like, she like, says fucking rednecks i'm like yeah fuck them Mm-hmm. I mean, if somebody found those three kids that were hanging out at that stupid little mini mart or whatever, and, and they were like run over in the middle of the street, people would be like, "Well, yeah, they're probably stupid. They're stupid yeah. kids. We know them. They're locals. We know how stupid they are. <laughs> we, we always knew they'd get something stupid happen to them." <laughs> oh, but then it was all Tristan, and again, they don't really explain like uh, which part they're hallucinating. Yeah, yeah. I, apparently, okay. So this is what I'm confused about too, like. Was was the witch in Tristan at that point? I'm she, assuming yes. She had been she taken said, over completely. Because she says a line or something about it. Like she's like, she said something that alluded to like you know Tristan's not here anymore, kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. And it was just really like okay, and yeah, I don't know. Like it just the kind part of ended. That has always confused me, and even even when I did like watch this movie obsessively when it came out, was she goes. <gasps> And I'm like, what is that? Like, she covers her mouth. Like, she just gasps really loud and then covers her mouth. And I'm like, what is that about? Like, is that supposed to see that, like, Tristan's still in there somewhere? Or that I, she's still, like, like I didn't, I've never understood that gasp. It makes I, no I sense like, to the movie. I feel like they were making two movies and they just put them together. That, that might have happened. The things that confuse me the most, though, is because, obviously, they kind of make you think, okay, that the wish possessed Tristan and then... She stays in there, but what possessed them to go kill the other campers? Did she in turn go in the camper or the the other four and have them go kill them or what? That's okay. I was lost there. From what I got is that the witch either took over or was using Tristan that night. And mm-hmm. remember, like she she knighted the rest of them into, her, with, into with her, her stick, yes, into her evil royal brigade of murder. It's a dowsing rod. Yeah. So, She's yeah, looking for they, water. <laughs> they they were knighted and then they murdered the Chinese and Japanese or the Japanese and the German tourists and the other tour guides. Yeah, yeah did the coffin rock thing. And then they went back and you know they fucked on the bodies and ritualistic you know, sex. You know you gotta have it. There was yeah. the was it the Erica had the skull thing on her crotch. Yeah, yeah, they were yeah. just like with the candles. Yeah, and they were bowing to. To Tristan, Tristan yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah, so Tristan was the Jedi Knight, basically. Pretty she, much, she was the Sith Lord. The Sith Lord the whole time, but I always, I always like kind of I go back and forth. Was like, so they were hallucinating what was happening that they thought was real. Yeah. But was it what was actually real? What was on the tape, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then they do the whole thing about how. <laughs> 
Well, the other thing that was stupid is once they real okay, they see what happened on the tape, and they're like, well, they have that. Oh, I forget. Okay, no, let me go back a little bit. They they do that little line where I forget if it's Stephen or if it's Jeffrey that says, "Tape doesn't lie." It's like it shows a story and it tells you what you want to see. So oh, that, that was yeah. Jeffrey. Jeffrey says in the beginning. That was yeah. Jeffrey when he was being the skeezy indie producer. Yeah, he's like, tape yeah, he doesn't, doesn't lie. lie. Film does though. Film. <laughs> yeah, he does. He does that. He's like, the tape doesn't lie, and the film does. And then they just saw everything that they just saw, and then they start thinking, oh, that that's not what we did. That's that's a lie. Somebody somebody doctored that. I'm like, who the fuck is gonna doctor that? Yeah, so that's why I've always just assumed that what was happening on the tape was what was really happening. And yeah. then and what was going on when they thought was reality was them just being hallucinating in yeah. the because witch's you get, realm or whatnot. You get that sense when you finally see what happens because they, they assume that Tristan's still possessed and that the witch is talking a bunch of shit to him. And they do the whole thing where they push her off the ledge and they break her neck. But then when they're doing the interrogation thing, Steven says, oh, this is what actually happened. Go back to Jeffrey's place because he has video cameras everywhere and that'll tell you the truth. And when they go back and they see everything, they show Tristan actually being normal and saying, like, why are you doing this? Leave me alone. Don't do this. And then they're they're still seeing what they saw, but they're not seeing the actual reality of her. And then they just kill her, which... Which which one call it on? When, it the, just yeah, it, yeah. It, it finally gives you okay. They they're the ones who are batshit crazy, and probably the only one that's kind of been seen through this entire thing has been Tristan. And now the only person that can kind of exonerate them, they ended up killing because of how nuts and how crazy they went. Here's here's what it was. All right, I just figured this out. <laughs> okay, the clues were there all along. Yeah. They go to that shitty little mini mart, right? Where that fat lady's buying all the deviled ham or whatever the all fuck that was. All the deviled ham, yeah. And yeah. the guy is trying to fix the cooler, right? So they bought some beer that got too warm and something happened. Mm. And, you know, it was like acid. So they kept drinking. And they were just batshit crazy because <laughs> it was the tainted beer. That's what it was. Figured it, was it out. The tainted oh, Pete's the Wicked Ale. I the believe. tainted what Pete's Wicked good. Ale. That's what it was. You shouldn't yeah. be drinking Pete's Wicked Ale yeah. or ciders or any of those things. That's what it is. That's what happens if you drink those. Oh. Is going to fucking kill your friends. Yep. Or oh, yeah. Well, that's the other. That's the other thing you find out too is that Kim went on a little murder rage when she killed the uh, the cashier. Peggy. 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 Yeah, Peggy, because she has that. Because that interaction she had is that she didn't want to sell her the beer. And she's seeing what she's seeing through her eyes is that, oh, she's not selling her her beer. So she gives her money, does her job for her, and then leaves. All and right. then when they play back the footage and they show her actually just straight up killing her and leaving, it's like, okay, now you can see that they, that for whatever reason they were either the witch was influencing what they saw or they were just tripping balls on acid. It was the, the tainted okay. Pete's ale. That's in, what it was. <laughs> in Peggy's defense, you know, she was a little bitchy in their confrontation, but... In Peggy's defense, she has to close the store, and that fat lady's been putting cans of that deviled meat or whatever in the basket <laughs> all day, and then that bitch just left it there. So I'm like, Fuck, yeah. I gotta deal with that shit, yeah. and now this fucking goth chick's trying, goth chick with a rash is trying to buy this fucking gross beer, like. And like it's it made her seem like she's like I need a beer right now. So I'm like, okay, she's going to get more beer. But then she gets a six pack. I was like, was that for you? And like, thanks, bitch. Uh, you I didn't bring any for the rest of us? There's like five of us here. <laughs> like, I know. If I can, we each get one. Tristan's not pregnant anymore. Fuck, <laughs> she's in a party now. <laughs> <sighs> well, she didn't care beforehand either. Well, now she can really party. Oh, I love yeah. that end scene though, where they're they're like watching all of the tapes back and it's just them being gross and like Kim killing. And they're just like, somebody else did that. That wasn't me. And it's like, well, yeah, well, well, tape doesn't lie. It's well, showing yeah. you kill this cashier. <laughs> but then you like, get, kind of did that. Then you get the awesome credits with the awesome 2000s track where you just go through all the foliage of Maryland. <laughs> After we get the, the one uh, thing the, I do remember is from when we walk, like what Kim did say after, after we watched at the end, she's like, that was it? Like, it just ends? I'm like, yeah, yep. it's, that's it. Yeah, we it get that the, the news footage of, like, three, you know, locals and a tour, a tourist or whatever. Well, Murdered and, another and tour sometimes group. Psychic Kim did see Jeff in an electric chair. Yeah. 
Like she had that kind of a That's dream. Right. He turned around and he was in the electric chair and I yelled out, Shaka! He did. That that's a true story that happened. <laughs> Cause he's oh, in an goodness. orange jumpsuit and he everything. Is. It's like yeah. the exact same thing. Uh-huh. And the fucking you know, the sheriff's name is Craven, so I'm like, oh well, so yeah, why that's not? Where my brain goes. <laughs> Well, I think we all know that you two hated this film. <laughs> I don't hate this <laughs> film. Okay. All right. I, I will give you my final thoughts, but I didn't hate this film. I hate what this film became because I feel like if you had done anything that probably resembled the original creator's vision for a sequel, if you had done what the director wanted to do for his version of the sequel, I feel like they would have been a better coherent movie because I do think... Um, the whole aspect of them, like, are we going crazy? Do we really do this? Like, like, imagine that, like, imagine like you are a crazy person and then you wake up and realize one day, like, oh my God, I've been crazy this whole time. And I have done these things. Mm -hmm. Like, imagine, you know, someone that was, you know, mental hospital for the criminally insane. And like, he finally comes to grips with this thing. And like, that's what he sees. And you come to reality. Like, that's probably a pretty jarring fucking experience to have. Yeah. And I feel like if that's what they were going for this movie, the original, you know, director vision or whatever, that is a great fucking movie in a different way to kind of look at this and how the witch could mind fuck you and make you do these things. And then, you know, there's no recourse because people aren't going to believe it was a fucking witch. No. So either way, I think this movie probably was better off the way it was before anyone started fucking with it the second or third or fourth fucking time. So yes. it's a victim of its own circumstance, I guess. And that's shitty because a lot of these sequels that we've done in this month have been the same situation. And it's like mm-hmm. too many They're cooks the in the victims. kitchen yeah. or, or people that are like, you know, this will make money and that kind of, and that makes their decision. So I think when we get these shitty sequels, it's usually interference by someone that's not a creative person. And that's the shitty thing about it. So in yeah. essence, to me, that's what shitty sequel September is. It's just studios. You've made too many shitty sequels <laughs> because you thought you knew what the fuck you were doing when the creative people who actually know what the fuck they're doing were pushed aside. So, well, you, it's, me, good, it's like you had a happy, ep- yeah. I mean, it's ahead. a good movie. It could have been way better, and it probably was way better. So, again, don't watch this right after the first one because it, it's just going to it's gonna ruin it for you. And I, and I do like the first one. I didn't appreciate the hype when it first came out, but yeah. it's still a good movie. I mean, but, yep, part two, it's another shitty sequel thanks to the studio. So it's a good movie. Watch it. You'll enjoy it. It's got some good things, but... Have fun with it. Just a piggy, big, little piggyback off of what you said. I think, especially the theme with this month, is a lot of what they had with the first version, or the first entrance of the, the whatever movies we've done, The they had a happy accident. And I think where the studio fucked up is that, oh, we had a happy accident. Let's see how much more we can do when we actually involve ourselves in the making of this movie. And that right there is where they're fucking it up. It's like, let the people who had these little happy accidents in these movies shine. Let them do what they did. Again, don't don't meddle, don't mingle, don't do any of it, because we see what's happened with most of the, or probably all of the movies we've done for this month, is studio interference is your main downfall to what the first movie was. Because they feel like, oh, if we push our agenda, we can make it better. But all it does is just muddles everything down and it fucks everything up. With that said, there's really not much more I can say about this movie other than I hated it then and I still hate it now. Like with Paul said, don't watch this immediately after you watch the first one because you're just going to confuse the hell out of yourself. And I would say that too with a lot of the movies we did too. Stick with the original and eventually down the line watch the sequels because you should not watch them right after you watch the first one. I actually like this movie better than the original Blair Witch. I thought the Blair Witch was not great when I first saw it. Even in theaters I was not that scared of it and I was the ending. I was like that's just a dude in a corner. Uh, so yeah, I never really had that much of a, an attraction to the Blair Witch. I thought the idea was cool, but with this movie, everything that I love about this movie is the vision, the vision tree. That's a word, right? 
imagery. The imagery. The imagery. imagery. <laughs> the vision I, I like tree. I like vision tree. That's vision fine. tree. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Strategery. Strategery. Uh, there you go. But yeah, the imagery is what works for me. Like I said, I, I put this movie on and it gives me fall feelings. Man, it's got the cold. It's got the leaves. They're just traipsing through the woods. It's just a really you know great fall film for me i can put a pumpkin candle on and just fucking watch this movie for hours i love this movie <laughs> this movie is great even for all its flaws it's fun it's a good time and it's it's part of my horror history so i will always love it regardless of what you guys say well i don't have your nostalgia goggles so yeah. uh I, I will say, though, I would much rather watch this movie over and over again than anything Rob Zombie does. And I stand by that. <laughs> <laughs> we may have to do a Rob Zombie movie soon. Oh, but that's it for this week. Uh, we are coming back next week with a whole new October lineup. And uh, we'll get some more specifics on that going forward for Halloween. We're going to do Halloween season favorites. Yes. So if you have any suggestions or just want to let us know yep. what's your favorite Halloween season movie that's your go-to just to get you in that spooky October mood. So send us yes. a, send it your suggestions. We're still yes. kind of deciding on those. So let us know. Yep, you can email us at podcast at scarynerd.com. You can check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can support us on Patreon by going to patreon.com backslash scarynerd. You can find more horror entertainment news at scarynerd.com. And that does it for this week. Anything else, guys? That's it for me. That's it for me, too. Kitties, we shall see you in October. Bye. Bye, everyone.